Hi, we're going to take this Flash animation we're working with and I want to show you how you can save it as an animated GIF instead of an SWF file. Animated GIFs are very highly compatible with um, web pages and we're going to try to take this animated GIF and put it onto our Google Sites, our portfolios that we create with Google Sites. So here it goes. First step, now that the animation is completely done and we're ready to go, I'm going to go File and Export and not export image. I'm going to export this as a movie because it's an animated GIF. It behaves more like a movie. Typically, we default to the SWF format. This time, look for QuickTime. Nope, look for animated GIF. There it is. And choose that instead. And it should come up with the appropriate name. Hit Save. And look at the defaults. Be careful. There's some things that you might have to change around. You might have to change the dimensions to make things match the size that you want. I've also chosen to go with standard colors, and I'm smoothing and dithering solid colors. And I'll say OK, and let it crank away, and it will create the file that we need over here. But I'll let it do its thing first. And it's basically painting every picture that's necessary in the animated GIF. Now I'm making a pretty large one. It's 800 by 450. That's going to be wide enough to fill our page. We'll take a look and see what the file size looks like. Yeah, it's going to be 1.4 megabytes. Pretty big, but it's going to get the job done. So next I'm going to go over to my... well normally I'd go over to my portfolio. There it is there. And you'd think you could just edit the page and put in the image, but that is not going to work. If you put it in there, it'll put the GIF up there, but it won't automatically play. Instead, what we want to do is we want to put it in from Google Drive as an image. But before I do that, I'm going to have to open up the Google Drive and load it up there. So here's what I've done. This is a little tricky, too. Under my Google Drive, I've made a special folder that will hold my animated GIF. And I've called it Share with Link Holders. Because what I want to do is put a file in there and then make sure it will share with anybody that has the link to it. Typically, if you just upload a file, nobody can get to it except for you. But because I'm doing this fairly regularly, I've made this folder, and I've changed its properties. When I hit Share, and I've changed it under Advanced, so that anyone who has the link can view. You have to hit that Change button to make it behave this way. So anything I put in this folder is going to behave this way, and I'm going to be doing this over and over again. So that's the way I'm going to do it. When I grab the file now and load it up, or drag it up, upload it to the folder, it takes its sweet time, but there it is. And I've got to remember the name of it. MayJ Personal Logo is the one I'm working with. So now I can go back over to my portfolio, and I'll try that tactic. Insert from Drive, and I'm going to use this. Oddly enough, it is an image here, not a video. And once it's in there, to think of what I call that. MayJ may Personal. I'll just do a search on the word personal. And it should come up with the most recent stuff first. And I think that is most recent. So I'll try putting it up and sure enough, there it goes. And there's my animated GIF. And it plays automatically. And it plays it over and over again. And there's a couple of flaws with that. So I'm going to have to go back and redo this thing to fix it up. I'll try it right now. I'm just going to hit Save for now, because I've made some progress. First thing is, I don't like that it's going over and over again. I, can, I find that a little bit annoying. And second thing is, there's an animation within the animation here that I'd like to see happen. So here's how I'm going to fix this up. Back to Flash. First of all, to get the animation within the animation to work, animated GIFs, typically I can make an animation and put it into a symbol. This is a symbol called Thought. And you can actually have frame-by-frame frame animation happening inside the big animation. But it doesn't translate to an animated GIF unless you change one more thing in its properties. Select the instance of the symbol and change it from a movie clip to a graphic. And it has two effects. One is it works in an animated GIF, but the other is it now shows up when you scrub like this. Much better. So that's going to fix that. Secondly, I don't want this thing to repeat over and over. So when I export it this time, Export Movie, just repeating things. Use the same file name, exactly. And say Save. And look a little more carefully at the options. And you'll notice at the bottom it says Zero Repetitions. Zero is repeat over and over. 
If I'd like this thing just to animate in and then just freeze, I'll put in one repetition. Say OK. And again, it's going to take about 15 seconds to export this particular file. Let's see how, how well this works. I believe that everything on the portfolio page is still going to work. I'm just going to replace the old file with the new one. Let's see if it works. It's taking a little while. There we go. Okay, back over to the folder. There's my new file. It's now a little bit bigger. It's 1607 instead of 14. And I'll drag this one into place. And I wonder, will it replace the old one? It says it finished the upload. Looks like it's replaced it. Okay, when I go back to my portfolio now, and if I refresh it, let's just see if it works a little bit better. If the thought bubble comes out, we're successful. Yep, good. And now it's going to freeze on the last frame. And we're done. That's exactly what we were looking for. Give it a try yourself. Good luck.